Hey, hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome back to another unboxing and review video. Alright guys, well, today I have something pretty cool to show you. It's right here, I just brought it from the store and I can't wait to open it and see how it looks like actually. So, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so here it is. This is my brand new UEI back in black gaming chair. I just picked it up from the store like 15 minutes ago and honestly I can't wait to unbox it with you guys. So the reason why I decided to buy a new gaming chair is because the current one I have or better known as Steve the Chair, if you remember that video. And I decided to actually call it Steve. So yeah, I call this chair fucking Steve. Steve the Chair. Yes, that Steve the Chair started peeling off its artificial leather. So as you can see over here, it started peeling off. The chair is pretty worn off. It's making squeaky noises when I sit on it. And it's not that comfortable anymore. But to be honest, this is not a actually gaming chair or anything, it's just look-alike gaming chair. There is no brand on it or anything, it's just a normal chair that looks a little bit like a gaming chair. But yeah, it's time for the new one and let's get right into unboxing. Alright guys, let's unbox this chair now. So, the first thing that I noticed to the side of the box is my 24 month warranty with also 14 day deadline for returning the chair completely for free in case you don't like it or something so that's pretty cool this time I have a proper knife for unboxing and there you go I'm cutting the box slowly being careful not to cut the chair inside or damage anything that I'm not supposed to damage and there you go one side of the box seems to be opened now I'm moving to the other side and there you go box is opened I'm securing the blade now not to cut myself because it already happened to me a bunch of times and it's not really a good thing so as you can see everything is pretty well packed up and they really made sure that this arrives safely and in one piece and this looks like one of two to the armrests they're packed up inside of these plastic bags with air bubbles so you can adjust these by the height and you can adjust the angle I'm trying to figure out how to do that and there you go that's how you adjust the height and I didn't manage to figure out how to spin it but you just move it with your hand left and right and you can adjust the angle the next thing we have here is a base of the chair and this is what you put your wheels on and this is what chairs moves on and it's pretty heavy because it's not made of plastic like usually this is actually all metal and looks pretty quality to be honest what do we got next next is uh, let's see what am I gonna pull out is the back of the chair the one you lean on so the primary reason why I decided to buy this chair is because it's been made entirely out of cloth so there is no artificial skill skin on it I mean almost only the edges are made from artificial skin everything else is just strong mesh claw that looks pretty quality to be honest it all looks really nice so hopefully that makes a difference now these are the instructions a manual of how to put the chair together and a little bit information about the UEI which is the company that makes these chairs so there goes the manual and all the parts that you find inside the box next thing I got here 
is a uh, is a box with uh, I'm not sure what's actually inside I don't remember when I was opening oh yeah I remember now it's a um, butterfly thingy how do you call it the the butterfly mechanism that you uh, attach your chair to like bottom of your chair to and you have this gas lift which is class 4 gas lift inside this seems to be a screw set yep you get all the screws and everything to make this chair to, to put it together which is really good these are plastic covers for the chair plastic on that feels pretty good honestly it's not that it feels like a cheap plastic it, it's actually solid uh, this is a cover plastic cover for the uh, gas lifter telescopic plastic cover it's pretty cool and there is the gas lifter itself it's a class 4 gas lift and it's pretty damn heavy actually to be honest it's, it's quite heavy the entire chair is actually pretty heavy when you put it all together and now there is that butterfly mechanism itself it's a little bit stuck on a box there you go I really love how this is all packed up safely so there's the butterfly mechanism that you can also lock from leaning so you can lean back and forward on this chair and there you go you can lock it or unlock it it's pretty cool and you also have this like screw under it where you can adjust the leaning to be softer or harder now those are wheels and they're actually not entirely plastic wheels are made of rubber it's rubberish so it adjusts to all the surfaces and it spins very smoothly it's really smooth how it spins rubber wheels are really a good thing so it doesn't matter if you have a carpet in your room or not it's not gonna damage your parquet or whatever you're using in your room your floor if it's wooden it's not gonna get damaged now this is the part of the chair that you sit on actually it's also entirely made of cloth which is again the primary reason why I picked this chair to prevent it from peeling this cannot peel or anything there is a UEI chair logo and this is the mechanism that allows you to make, make this chair go on from 90 degree angle to 180 degree angle and the sponge feels really hard so that's really nice it, it's really high quality it's hard sponge it's not soft cheap sponge like in some chairs now this is the second armrest you can also adjust it by the height up and down and I don't know did I figure out here how to move it left or right I don't think I did yeah I didn't figure it out <laughs> but you just literally move it with your hand then this is one of the two pillows this is your neck pillow with the UEI chair logo looks really nice and it has a zipper 
at the back so you can see actually what material is inside you can touch it or if you like you can replace it with some better material if you have anything so I really like that like if if this gets worn off or something you can always replace it with something new but honestly this feels really soft under my neck it's really nice thing then this is second pillow and this one is for your lumbar support and it's a little bit different because inside is actually a hard sponge it also has the zipper and you can replace it with some other sponge or whatever when that one warms off and this sponge actually is is pretty hard it's not that soft cheap sponge it's pretty quality to be honest and again it has a UVI chair logo on it and it's all made out of cloth just like the first pillow as well and that's it that's everything all right guys so I just set it up the chair I skipped the part where I was putting it together because it takes too long and I didn't want to record the whole thing but here's the chair this is how it looks like now when it's all put together as you can see it spins very smoothly very smooth spinning what I like about it are those pillows that you can lean on when you sit at it one is for your neck and the other one is for your lumbar support now it's really comfortable chair honestly much more comfortable than the one I had earlier this is way better quality and what's cool about it you can do this <laughs> it has 180 degree angle so you can be laying in the chair completely <sighs> so you can set it up from 90 to 180 degree but I feel like here is the most comfortable and there is a handle that you pull to do that and also you have this mechanism that you pull for adjusting the height there you go it's class 4 once again gas lifter that's a really cool chair you can also take these pillows off whenever you want you have these little things that you press and unzip it so yeah that's it this is how the chair looks like when it's put together now what's pretty cool about this lumbar pillow is that you can adjust it by the height whether you like it more up or maybe more down it's totally adjustable just the way you like it now some of the downsides that I've noticed about this chair are for example that the lever for height adjustment is located at the same time as the lever for the angle adjustment and this whole mechanism is kind of blocking your hand from reaching this lever for height adjustment and it's kind of uncomfortable when you have to reach for it and also another thing is that if you want to adjust your height you have to put all of your weight more at the back of the chair because that's where the gas lifter is located more at the back than in the center of the chair so you have to put all of your weight more at the back than in the middle as it should be and that's also kind of annoying a little bit but yeah another thing that you might notice is that there is no handles now you might 
ask why I didn't put the handles. Well, here is one of the handles. They're 2D handles. So what does that mean? Well, simply, you can adjust them by the height because that's how they they stand in your chair. So you can adjust them by the height and you can adjust them by the angle. You can rotate them left and right. But the reason why I didn't mount them on my chair is because when I sit in my chair, this is where my keyboard and mouse are. So they keep hitting this sliding board and I can't get close enough to the monitor and my microphone when I'm recording. So that's what kind of annoys me and I decided to remove these handles. But yeah, everything else about this chair is just beautiful. I really love it. And I wanted to pick it in a black color that was also like green and black combination, but I really like the black one. And what's the best is that entire chair is not artificial leather. The only part that has artificial leather are these edges here and this here. And everything else is just fabric. It's not an artificial letter and it looks like it's pretty high quality so it's not gonna tear or whatever. So yeah, it's it's really cool chair. Let me show you a little bit how it looks when I sit in it from the different angle. So it spins very smoothly. That's cool. Now that's what I'm talking about, the lever for height adjustment is kind of annoying to reach. But it also works very smoothly. And then there is <coughs> angle. I can fall asleep in this chair, totally. <laughs> I can't come back up. <laughs> oh yeah, it's much more comfortable than the one I used to have. This is quality on another level, definitely, feels really good. <laughs> Goodbye Steve the chair, you've been a good friend, I love you, I'll never forget you Steve the chair. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's it for this unboxing and review video, for the end I just want to mention that sitting in this chair right now feels much more solid and tighter and comfortable than the previous chair. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off or anything. It's pretty solid and it doesn't feel cheap at all. So for a price of 230 euros, which is how much I paid for this chair, I think this is a really solid pick and I think I picked the right chair for myself. And if you're a gamer, if you sit a lot and play video games, this could be a chair for you and I would totally recommend uh, this chair for you guys in that case because so far I'm really happy with it and I hope it's gonna serve me well for years and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then go ahead and leave a like, share, comment or subscribe if you want to guys. If you don't want to, you don't have to, it's totally fine. You can also join my Chris Facebook group, link is down below in the description, I post all kind of stuff over there. And that's it guys, I love you, thank you for watching, I appreciate all of your support and everything you've done for me and my channel so far, you're amazing, and I'll definitely see you in the next videos. Chris out.